my biggest advice to you especially if you're coming to first year is university won't be the best years of your life just because you went to university hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Claudia and if you're new here, hi, nice to meet you. I am a fourth year master's student at London Business School and before that I went to Queen Mary University and pursued a degree in business. So in today's video, I will be talking about um, my first year university experience and what it was like to be a fresher in London and a fresher at Queen Mary University. I'm gonna go down to the nitty gritty and talk to you guys really raw and honest about my first year experience just because a lot of people are always worried that their first year experience isn't going to be amazing but I think this video will teach you guys some lessons about that. At the same time, I will be doing my makeup so I think it'll be fun to you know do my makeup. Like this is my makeup done already but I'm gonna do my makeup while I talk about these things. Put on some makeup and camera, have a little chit chat, just you know, treat this as a very like one-to-one -one conversation, grab some drinks, grab some snacks, let's just have a talk, okay? Let's just have a, a nice chat. Please do click the description box because I will leave some timestamps. So if you guys are curious about a certain topic, like if you're curious about Freshers Week or if you're curious about workload, I will leave a timestamp for that. Yeah, let's just get straight into it. Hello. So yeah, barefaced. Got my iced coffee, which isn't really iced anymore because it melted. All right, so I'm gonna start with doing my foundation, and I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit more about my background and what um, what degree I did, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I did business management uh, at Queen Mary University, and the choices that I applied to were Edinburgh. Um, looking back, I'm like. Why would I ever go to Edinburgh? But Edinburgh, Manchester, LSE, Queen Mary, and what was the other one? Okay, I don't remember what the fifth choice was, but yeah, those, that's what I applied. And then uh, I ended up firming Manchester and then um, having Queen Mary as my insurance choice. And my A-levels did not go as I had planned. Um, my English, I was predicted an A, but I got, and I got also an A for AS level, but I ended up with a B. So I ended up going to Queen Mary. And this was the start of my first year university experience because knowing that Queen Mary was my insurance choice, um, my first year university experience actually started really off. It started on the wrong foot. If you start university in that mindset, like if you go into an insurance or you end up going through clearing and, you know, end up in a university that you don't, you never associate it with yourself or you don't believe um, is a right fit for you it it feels really off completely raw and completely honest here i hated like the first two weeks of university i hated the fact that i was going to queen mary even though it's a really good school looking back i i was really really close-minded and probably very childish about it as well uh, i was having you know i had a huge tunnel vision about about it and all i saw was like oh i could have gotten into better university luckily for me i got out of that mindset really quickly i think something in me was just like i need to make this the best situation possible and i came all the way to the uk i was so desperate to leave portugal not that this country is a bad country like it's my home and i'll always consider this place like my home but for me like i really wanted to leave this place as soon as possible so once i got to the uk even though it wasn't the university i wanted to go into i was in the mentality that i need to make this the best situation possible because i came all the way here like i i don't want to waste all the money and all the effort and all the courage that it took me to fly all the way here by myself, you know? So luckily for me, I had that going. It doesn't matter what university I'm in. It doesn't matter that I could have been in a better university. I'm just gonna try to make this the best situation possible. So that's the mindset that I took forward. And that takes us to Freshers Week. So in Freshers Week, um, I was really, really keen to go out there and meet people. And I think that's kind of what started everything for me they had like fresh stalls and societies i'd go to those those places and then i'd meet people there and then i'll start conversations like hey so where are you from etc how are you blah 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 and then conversation would lead to a place where it'd be okay for me to say oh so um what, what are you going to this party and they'd be like oh yeah i'm going to that party and i'd be like oh my god yeah same who are you going with and then they'd be like oh i don't know and i'm like let's go together and if you're coming to queen mary you need to know about drapers because drapers is like drapers is where everyone parties 
at Queen Mary, it's basically in campus, it's a bar. In the morning, it's like a food place and then it turns into a bar with dance floor and everything. Um, and you know, the, in Freshers Week, they have parties every single day. I have a feeling my makeup's not gonna turn out very good because I can't really, I just realized I can't really speak and do my makeup uh, and do both properly. Going back to like the random friends that I would meet, one of them ended up coming with me to uh, Hail Mary. Was it Hail Mary? It was a Draper's party basically. I don't remember what the party was, but it was one of the Draper's parties. At the time, we were just like three strangers, none of us knew each other, and we were just like, yeah, let's just go party together because we don't have any other friends. And I went to this party, held this Draper's party with these two other girls, um, and we actually preed in the park because none of us had like accommodation in campus. So yeah, it was just these three girls drinking wine in the park and then we went into Draper's and had the best night ever. It was it was so much fun and looking back, I don't really remember their names because we never spoke again. But it was just one of those kind of things that you look back to and like, oh, I'm actually really proud of myself for putting myself out there. First advice for you guys is to but definitely like step out of your shell and push yourself outside of your comfort zone during freshers week. The last thing you should have is pride and, and the feeling that, oh, like that's so embarrassing. Like that's the last thing that you should have. The one thing I would say that didn't enable me to fully enjoy freshers week was the fact that I wasn't living in campus. So I was living in private accommodation because I think if, I think if a university is my insurance choice, I can't get accommodation or something like that. I don't remember, but I didn't have student accommodation in Queen Mary, so I had to live in private accommodation, which was in Bethnal Green, a little bit further away from campus. In the same way, there was a lot of pros to living in private accommodation, but let's start with the cons. First of all, as mentioned, I didn't have a group of friends that I could party with. I wasn't friends with any of the people who lived in my accommodation. They were all Chinese, happy to speak with them in Chinese, but they weren't really open to that either. I think they were just like, we just want to stay on like in our rooms. I didn't have immediate group of friends um, from my flats. I think one of the main cons was that they were really dirty. I'm, I don't know their name, so it's not like I'm like putting anyone on blast, but they were really dirty. Like, ugh. luckily I had my own ensuite. Everyone had their own ensuite, but we shared a kitchen and the kitchen was so disgustingly like dirty. And I think it's because they were all from like affluent backgrounds, they probably never had to really clean up growing up. I would get pissed off because we would get fines for having a really dirty kitchen because they would have to hire professional cleaners to take care of it and they would pay that like happily pay that because like as long as I don't have to clean it I'm happy to pay a fine but I wasn't happy paying those fines because I would have rather just clean them myself but I had no choice because I had to pay those fines regardless so it was really annoying but as I mentioned there were some pros with living in private accommodation so first of all we had a really big living room with like a big couch and everything so it was easy for people to sleep over around my house so my flatmates that live with me they didn't care i mean they were always in their own room and they would only pop into the kitchen to cook and most of the time they didn't cook most of the time they would just order takeaway anyways the, the biggest pro from living in private accommodation was the fact that i was so scared of not having a default friend group from my flat that i really pushed myself perhaps if i was living in um campus i wouldn't have being as keen to make friends so yeah i guess that was something that in the end of the day worked out my makeup is actually starting to look real i don't know what i'm doing okay next thing i'm going to be talking about is making friends and i know this is one thing everyone wants to know like how do you make friends in first year i'm so worried talking to strangers didn't really lead me to making permanent friends the thing that led me to make permanent friends that to this day they're still like my bestest friends in the world was joining societies like that is the one thing you should do when you join university during career week not career week what am i saying i've been at london business school for too long during freshers week i went to um the fair where they have all those societies i went to the dance stall and i talked to the people who at the time were the president of the dance society and the hip-hop captain of the dance society who now is also one of my best friends for life i ended up joining as i mentioned uh, queen mary dance society it's not called queen mary dance society it's called queen mary dance company i should know this because i became the president at the end um it was honestly one of those safe havens for me where I, I really felt like I was part of a family and in the beginning of course everyone's a little bit like oh my god like everyone's so good at dancing and so nervous but 
honestly like once you go to competitions together and once you have that competitive spirit where you're all cheering for each other you really start to bond and i think it's giving me chills just talking about it. honestly i'm getting chills um it was just one of those experiences that i'm so grateful for and i think looking back had i not joined dance society i think my university experience would have been completely different i also tried to join this other um society called abacus abacus is important to know especially if you're asian especially if you're an asian like immigrant like me who is a child of asian parents but grew up in the west or, or if you're bpc which is, stands for british born chinese i really strongly recommend you to join abacus whether it's at queen mary university or at king's college london or at ucl or at imperial um cambridge has has um abacus join abacus it stands for association of british and chinese university students and in the first semester i joined this society and there was like an icebreaker event where i met loads of people and i felt so at home immediately from day one i felt wow this is a group of people that i have been looking for my whole life it feels like so deep like my whole life i've been looking for you but honestly it was that kind of feeling because i grew up in portugal my whole life, my friends were all Portuguese or from other uh, European countries and never had I ever had friends who were like me who are children of Asian immigrants. I Abacus, I met most of the people who actually throughout uni became my main group of friends. I was completely not in that mentality of like, I don't want to be here anymore. I was really like, okay, I really am enjoying uni and I'm living life right now. The next thing I'm going to be talking about is workload and academics. I first went into it with like, oh my god, it's university, so I'm gonna be really like organized about my work. I have all these different notebooks. I would go to every single lecture and take notes down. And that lasted for like two, three weeks. And then I realized that, you know what? This is not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. And I think a lot of people end up going through that experience where they think university is gonna be really hard. Okay, I can't speak for everyone because if you're a med student, then yeah, it's gonna be really hard. But if you're going into business like me, I think it's pretty manageable as long as you Stay on top of like your responsibilities like you need to know when your deadlines are obviously you need to know when your exams are you need to know what, when your group meetings are so as long as you know those essential deadlines that you have and have those key dates if you know like okay i have an exam or okay i have a group presentation on the 6th don't start working on it on like the 6th like because you are fresher you don't know what you're doing yet you need to make sure you give yourself some like collateral to work with and, and give yourself some leeway you know so yeah just make sure you you aren't being irrational about it but in terms of like do i have to be in the library 24 7 no you don't i think the last thing i want to talk about while talking about my first year university experience is about missing home and homesickness and missing your family and what it's like to live alone for the first time in your life in the first couple of weeks as i mentioned it was really hard for me to adjust it was hard for me because i didn't feel like i was in the right place it was hard for me because i didn't have friends in my flat who i i could communicate with and i just didn't have anyone i could talk to in the beginning and also i didn't mention this but in the first week i was terrified because i didn't know anything about the uk i didn't know how the tube transportation worked i didn't know like I had to do all those doc documents by myself, so things like um, registering with a bank. During those times, I really, really missed my parents to the point where I actually cry when I thought like, oh, I just wish I could be home right now. And that's so surprising because I, at the time, I, when I was at home, I, would, I just wanted to get out of there and I wanted to live by myself so bad. But once I was living by myself, I actually realized, wow, I really do miss home. A lot of people tend to overlook like homesickness but it's it's a real thing and, and you really start missing home especially when you get sick uh, so i got freshest flu that was when i missed my parents the most because when you're sick and you're in bed and you feel like like you can't speak and like you just want nice home-cooked food you feel so helpless because there's no one around you ca that can really help you and luckily for me i had my best friend heather who came around and cooked me congee cooked me porridge so she was my saving grace but you know i'm sure you'll have good friends as well but it's, it's just one of those one of those times where you really appreciate 
what it's like to to have like loving parents and I really miss like I think everyone misses their parents the most when they're sick in university and they have to take care of themselves yeah freshman flu hit me multiple times during first year and it's a real thing going to university for the first time and you're going to first year I would really recommend you to take some paracetamol or ibuprofen with you <laughs> also this this tip is really gonna help you because if you get fresh flu make yourself ginger lemon honey tea that is what heather made me and oh honestly it it, it like it just cures you like instantly remember this recipe because trust me it, when you go to university and you get fresh flu you're gonna thank me okay so yeah that was my experience as a first year university student at queen mary university and to get really honest honestly it was amazing. Um, it was amazing, but it, it didn't come at no cost. The cost was feeling horrible for the first two weeks, and the cost was also completely putting myself out there and being really vulnerable. Get out of your bubble, like get out of your comfort zone. You are in university, like you're coming to university. There's no point in being in your comfort zone. That's the whole point of university. You're coming here to grow. Uh, you're not coming here to be the same person. So push yourself. When I tell people like university were the best years of my life, people tend to think like, oh, what if that doesn't happen to me? Or, oh, like, what if I don't have that chance? Or what if I don't have that luck? And like, it's not about luck. It is about actions. Like there are actionable things that you can do to make sure that university is the best years of your life. My biggest advice to you, especially if you're coming to first year is university won't be the best years of your life just because you went to university. You have to do something about it and you have to make sure you push yourself out of those comfort zones in order for that to happen. But yeah, that is the video. It was a bit like discombobulated. Like I think none of it was very structured. I'm very sorry about that. If you are joining university in September, very good luck to you and I wish you the best. And even if it's going to be remote, I'm sure you'll find a way to make it work for you. And yeah, I, I really hope the best for everyone. I think everyone deserves an amazing university experience and an amazing first year freshers university experience. So yeah.